Hello. <laughs> I'm kind of new to this job and the manager told me to come to you if I needed anything and uh, here I am. So I, well, my problem is that I don't really know what to do now. I'll, I'll tell you the situation. What happened is that a customer returned some food and it seems like a waste to throw it all out. So, um, yeah, he asked for another thing. And with this, I, I have no idea what to do. Could you advise me or tell me what you normally do or... <sighs> oh. Ah, so you do throw it away. That seems pretty odd in my eyes, you know. We don't usually throw things, we just eat them. Please don't be judgmental with this, but uh, we... The stereotypes are kind of true. We demi-humans are, are not very... Uh, sophisticated like y you guys are so we we do eat everything and anything we can uh, and that's why people don't like us <laughs> thank you for the support i really appreciate it but but it's true i've had problems fitting in and you know, with this job, it's like everyone is looking at me like I'm disgusting or like some sort of, of a plague. Yes. I know this brings problems to this coffee shop, but I I really didn't want to. I really don't want to be a, a bother, you know? Um. <sighs> yes, yeah. It's the hair, mostly the fur. The ears and the tails are cute, according to most of them. But uh, the hair is a different thing. They are disgusted if I, by accident, I drop one strand of hair and they see it over their coffee and... <sighs> yeah. In this one... No, 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 no. Don't worry. In, the, in this one, there, there didn't... Yes, there, there wasn't any hair, but you know how people are sometimes. They see an opportunity and they take it. I think in this case he just wanted to change his food and his coffee for something else. He was halfway done, but I, I know how it is. People see the opportunity to blame me for what happens to their food or to get free things and they just, they just take it. <laughs> no, 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 don't feel bad for me. I, you are, are a human and you know what they say. We're not, we're not equal life forms. I, sometimes I fall into the belief that uh, they are right, you know, the people that are preaching about these things and they're not happy with us and I just th sometimes think they're maybe right, sometimes I just feel so alone and, and different and like I, I don't belong with the rest of you, maybe, maybe we are a lower species, you know what I mean? Oh, thank you, but how, how is it that you don't find me disgusting or lowly or unworthy of attention and, and care? Oh, oh, y you have an experience with us. What what kind of experience? What kind of experience can teach you that kind of thing? So, one of your exes was also a Neko boy. 
two of them. And how many have you had? Three. And two out of three were Neko boys. That, I wouldn't expect that to happen. I mean, I do know Neko girls are, are very, uh, you know, attractive to humans, but usually it's not for serious relationships and they end up having to offer themselves for money because you know how the situation is with, with us. But with Neko boys, it's really not that usual. Usually, human women are disgusted by the hair and by our attitude. Most of us are not really dominant, you know. Most of us are a bit shy and kind of a group of just low cowards. We're not even that tall. I think the tallest one is six feet, and that's one in 300. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know how does that get to happen, because we are usually very segregated and, 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 and separated, and, and it's weird when, when they see us together, and <sighs> how, did, how did you do it? Oh. So, you were to where they were. So, they didn't come to you. You went to them. That doesn't happen. Humans don't go into demi-human territory. They, they just do not. It's not how it works. We just go to humans to work. And we're practically always working as servers and as butlers and as maids and as companions to say it like that but for humans to go there it would be to either enslave us or trying to tell us something that's not going to work that yeah that's how it is but you went there in your own desire <laughs> It's kind of nice knowing there's people like you out there. I haven't encountered any other, though. I wish I did. So, what is this experience that you're talking about with your exes? Uh, so, you, you've you experienced that. It's a very bad thing. What happens with couples like that? Usually, they're only seen as a pleasure thing like a like a power playing part of the human so people don't usually pay attention but when it goes for too long yes something happens people tend to treat you like they've treated you like you're uh, you're just scum and trash and just as slowly as the demi-humans you're dating. I guess that's something that you don't really want to experience in your life. But you experience this twice. Why would you do something like that? I mean, with the first time, I would have stopped immediately. Even though I would be attracted to you. No, no, not that I'm saying that I'm attracted to you, but... Yes, so you are one of those people that like us. <sighs> there are not many people like you. You are special in that way. Um, now, now I feel freed, you know, because I actually felt kind of a certain way with you when I, when I saw you. And when I started working here, I I know it's only been like a week, but since they directed me to you, and I, I just wanted to avoid you because you're a human and, and you're kind of my superior, I didn't want to, to bother you with anything, but 
ever since I first saw you, I I was just so interested in you and how you looked and the way you smile to people. You're, you're just so different and I was um and this is difficult to say for me especially for someone like me but would you consider going on a date with me I I just want to know you better I want to know the person that's helping people like me and that love them and I I, I just want to know what what exactly makes you you what exactly makes you special because you are special in my eyes so I just wanted to say and ask will you go on a date with me will you give me a, a chance to stand with you as equals <sighs> Thank you. You're adorable. And and you're right. I should get back to work. I'll wait for you then. We'll sort out the details later. I'm just so happy right now. I'll wear my best smile as a customer service person. <laughs> Thanks to you.